on through. Whether it is wood grain, whether it is the own pattern that you've designed as well. So take a little look at that. I think it's a good option. 572 394, your item number. And again, I'm going to ask you at home because I know what talented crafters you are. What would you be doing with your wood stain? Do you have any projects in mind that you'd be like, amazing? Very excited. By the way, the pictures are starting to come in. We're not going to show them to you just yet, but the pictures are starting to come in. We love pet pictures. Uh, okay. Now, we've got more for you. Taking a look here. So, these are our uh, ooh, pick and mix. You've got lots of different choices. We're going to get the uh, details up. Just hold on a sec. I apologize for you. Uh, to you, rather. Here we go. So, this is our 8-ounce outdoor living paint set. Designed to work for outside. So any projects where you think, yep, you know what, these are going to be working outside, we're getting a lot of pet pictures coming in. Let's start here. Beautiful. So outdoor living, you are getting your um, copper, your gold, and your silver. So copper, gold, and silver, those are your first choice. Should we open one up? Should we have a little look? I'm going to go, oh, copper, I think. Got to give it a little bit of a shake, because I know we, sh we showed gold earlier on. Let's just have a look. Don't be sealed. Oh no, it's sealed. Do you know what? I'm going to open it. Ooh, whoa. Look at that. So designed to go. I mean, it goes outside. That is not to say you can't use this inside. And actually, I'm going to I'm going to have a little go at this very very quickly just to see what you are getting because we used our previous one. Here we go. Just bear with me. This wasn't meant to be part of the deal, but hey, why not? Let's see what it's like. So let me do it this side. Ooh, oh, this is good stuff. This is, this could be my paint of choice actually for this hour. Wait till you see this. Hold on a second. Oh, it just keeps on going actually. I've literally, from the paint lid, I can't believe the coverage. I'm going to keep on going as much as I can. Let's see how far we can stretch it. Because that is just me dipping the tip of the paintbrush into the, onto the lid. Okay. Let me just see. All right, now I'm starting to thin it out a little bit, but that actually, you know, that bugs me. So let me just... I have, I have added a bit more now, but it's only because I, I really pulled it out. Okay, look at this. Oh, tell me, tell me that is not good stuff. Now, obviously, I would try and get, a, I know that it's a little bit patchy in areas. That's because I was really pulling it out. And I only just put the smallest fraction. We will let that dry. Thank you. Oh, Callum, I really appreciate your help this hour, buddy. He's a good guy, Callum. Okay. So that's our copper. Actually, I'm going to leave that lid off. I'm going to just do it so we can have a look. We are very busy for this option. For me, whew, that gold, copper, and silver... Yes, that's all I'm going to say. The set up here for £20.16. pence. Yes, all right, so you've got that. Let's go through all the different colour options. So we just drag down here and have a little look? So here we've got our turquoise sky. We've got our, um, an, our poolside and our anecdote. Adro, Adironadac, Dac. How do you even pronounce that? Adironadac. We're going to stick with it. If you say it quick... Adirondack. Oh, all right, Adirondack. There we go. We figured it out. Uh, okay, so those are your next three options. Twenty pounds and sixteen pence is your price, saving fifteen pounds here. It's such a good saving. Uh, we got more. Thank you, Cannon, by the way. Uh, right, having a look here. So we've got our rock garden, uh, our uh, sand and patio. Oh, now this. Oh, now let's have a little bit of think about this. So if you were going to do a mixed media project, or maybe. Mm, what about if you wanted to add some texture? So think about some gritty texture paste, and then what I would do is go over with the sand or give it some color. Yeah, I think this is good stuff. So uh, that's another option. Coming down here, we've got, we really have got an option for everyone. So uh, I like this. This is our sunset. We've got a harvest, and we've also got a lemonade. Ooh, nice, bright colors. I mean, that, that yellows and then the autumnals. Okay, so uh, that's another three. And look at the size of the pots. Now, I'm going to put my hand in shot. I know it looks horrible. It's a big, hairy hand, but that's the whole point. It is a big, hairy hand, and these pots still, they're big. 
All right, so you got here the uh, lily pad, succulent, and frosted grass. So that's your succulent, and there's your frosted grass. Okay, that's your next recurrent. And then over here we have our hammock, picket fence, and iron gate, and other options. And then finally we have our garden party. Wildflower and ladybug. There's your ladybug, there's your wildflower. So let's just, and forgive me for this, I just wanted to have a quick look and say that because it, it seals as well, which is required, it's excellent to, so very similar to the stains in the sense that it's a non-scuffing, the non-fading as well, can be used outside, but also great for any project, any crafty project, because there's nothing to stop you from using this on an MDF kit. Now that, should we just have a look at this? Because this is what I, I did earlier on, and I can see a few little patches, but I think that's not bad. Obviously, you would go in. It, I was trying to prove how far it would stretch, so I probably uh, dragged it a little further than I would normally. But you can see there is a base coat on white, and there's our gold from earlier on, that different set there. Ooh, okay. All right, so we will continue to play. Let's have a look. What else? You know what? We've got now, this is for the outside. Those patches are bugging me. I've got a bit more paint, so I'm just going to finish those up. These are bigger pots of what we've just seen. Hold on a second. I'm going back to the copper. It's bugging me. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to... Give me a second. Just going to get through those patches. There we go. Because I have all, all the paint here. This is very bad footage. Have we, got, have we got the pictures of the pet? Should we show a picture of the pet? Yeah, let's have a little look. While I do this, while I finish this, we've got the cute dog. A Jack Russell... Oh, are you kidding? This is Dylan, the Jack Russell... Dylan, you, my friend, are getting a belly rub. You're very cute. I love that face. How can you refuse giving Dylan a treat? He's totally looking at you like, please. That's Dylan. We love Dylan. Who else have we got? Now we've got a cat. Oh, who's this cat? Now I love cats. I love cats and dogs. This is from Debbie. Uh, Mitzi. She's currently... Stop everything mitzi is cuddling her teddy while watching tv that thank you Cam. that is so cute mitzi i officially love you oh there you go mitzi looks cute i'm one of those people that if a dog's walk past me i want to stroke the dog but it's rude to just go out and stroke the dog but if it's a stray cat you know when cats are going out for the walk i will be the guy that's like, trying to go out and stroke the cats uh and we've got have we got another one yeah i think let's take a look who is this? Who's this? This I th we think this is Spencer. Spencer, you are love. Oh, Spencer's a puppy. I want to. I want to give Spencer a cuddle. That's it. I want to give Spencer a cuddle. Very, very cute. Uh, so there's Spencer. So keep your keep your pictures coming in, and we're open this up to any pet. We whenever we do this, we get a lot of cats and dogs. But interestingly, we get we get a few uh, different animals in there as well. We've had, uh, I think we've had pigs. Obviously, Nick in Bulgaria, he's got his uh, pigs. Uh, we've had parrots. Uh, we've had goats. We have quite a few goats as well. Just to show you, what you're seeing here, even bigger pots. So if you know you've got a large project to take on, that's outside. Uh, you're getting here the iron gate, the picket fence. Uh, so these are options. So uh, two different options. They're monster pots, 16 ounce. Set of two, you decide which two you're going to go for. Uh, have got here the pit fire. Ooh. Now, that pit fire... That's going to be nice. That's going to get a deep, rich red. Uh, and it comes with the arena, I think it is. Uh, no, it comes with sand, sorry. It comes with the sand. So uh, pit fire and the sand complement each other beautifully. Down here, you have got your iron gate and your picket fence. And then over here, pagona and patio. Those uh, Pagola, I apologize, and patio. So those are your choices there. I like, can I just show you, I went over the, and it's still drying, but just having a look at that copper, so what we're working with or having a look at this moment, now look at that, it is so luxurious as a paint. And you can do different techniques, because if you have a little bit of a sponge as well, you can stipple and sponge, hmm, I'll be inclined to do that. Do we have any sponges, Callum? 
Have a look. Maybe in the kitchen, just an old sponge. No one will mind. You know, like a little old sponge? Cheers, buddy. Uh, we are just... Oh, I've got to say. Callum, bad time to do that, actually. I think we're on the move. Uh, just give you the heads up. Let you know that we have got a Freedom membership here, and some of the options do have Freedom attached to them. If you're wondering about Freedom membership, here's Janice to tell you all about it. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family hello so i've got a little bit of a project going on and we've got some fantastic paints and we figure why not have a little go you might have a wooden kit project or an MDF project at home and then you're looking to cover it in paint. Working with the exterior paints means if you did want to put it outside, I'm not saying you want to put your easel outside, but if you did, suddenly you're acting, it's acting as a sealant, a barrier, and you can leave it outside because it's water resistant as well. So these paints are designed to work outside, any outside plaques on there as well. Great saving, 15 pounds saving, 20 pounds and 16 pence. I've just picked up one of the trios. So this is one option. You can see the pots are sizable. All of these fantastic pots. You get three of these in total. Uh, we've gone for, this is your rock garden, your sand and your patio. But do you see how tonally, and I'll tell you how the best way to do that, if I just lay them down here, you'll be able to see tonally how they all work together. So you've got your light, your mid and your dark. So this is your dark, your light, and your mid. Right, we are going to have a little bit of a play. I hope this is going to be a good colour palette for this. We'll give it a go. So let's go on first with... I'm thinking we go on first with our light, shall we? And build our way up. Let's do it. So this is... Give it, I'll give it a bit. Don't really need to give it a bit of a shake, but we're going to... Oh, okay. That's nice as well. We've got some more wood. We found some more wood that we're going to be playing around with. That needs a lot more of a shaking, so we're just going to do that. I'm going to give that a good shake coming through. So do shake these, and it does say um, to give these a bit of a shake when you get them home. There we go. That is... Oh, that's better. There we go. Right. So we'll just... Getting this on. So we're just going to lay, I'll do different areas through. So do give this, when you, when you go home, do make sure to uh, give them a shake. Yeah. I know it looks, this is a patio. It does look white at the moment. But wait, I will be blending. Coming through, so here we go. I thought I'd go for, I didn't, because this is actually, we weren't meant to be using this. But I figured, hey, why not decorate it? Spruce up the place? Okay, this is one of our easels that we use in live shows, so I thought I'd better do a good job. Mm -hmm, okay, coming through. So that's your light colour. Yeah, it's quite nice, good coverage. You let it dry, you build up the cover. 
Um, you know what? It's very good. Now, I know this isn't, I'm not passing this off as a technique, but we just wanted to see how it works. So imagine this on your MDF projects. Okay, it's the fact that you are going to be sealing it as well. Okay, very nice. And then what we will do is we're going to start. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to go creative. We're going to go creative. Different colour. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let that dry because I don't want to ruin my work that I've already done. But we'll, we'll pick one of the uh, darker colours and then we'll, we'll play around. So maybe go dark here, mid-tones. Oh, what about really dark here and then medium on the side? Should we do that? Let's do it. All right, here we go. So let me just give that a little bit of a clean. Um, and we could even add, I'm happy with that actually, the wood grain coming through. So now we're going to go, this is our medium. So we're going to pick medium and then we're going to go really dark in a moment. All right. Bear with me. Need a bit more of a shake. They do need shaking, okay? Because obviously when these arrive, when they're still, uh, obviously being paint, so let's give it a good shake coming through. <laughs> Looks very odd. Odd TV. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. So once you've shaken it, absolutely fine. If you don't shake it and you look at it, can I? If you don't shake it and you look at it, it looks odd. Does look odd. All right. Here we go. Well, let's do our mid. Now we're going to do our mid up here. There is metal. Oh, now. Can I just say this is the patio? That is a lovely colour. I like that a lot. Okay, let's just build that up. That is a gorgeous colour. It's a real earthy sort of tone. Okay. I like that a lot. Right, here we go. And now, yep. All right. So we've used our mid, and then we're going to go dark behind. And I think I'm, I'm actually not hating this. I'm surprised because we, we really didn't didn't plan anything here. Okay, let's, let's just 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 realise it just looked like I'm jiggling. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's just open this one up as well. That's mixed beautifully, and then we're going to go dark behind here. So let's just get dark. Yeah, nice. Ooh. Oh, okay. When you start seeing the colours next to each other as well. That's nice. That's very nice. Well, now I'm going to have to go behind there as well. Okay. So, going over here. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go too crazy. I have to say, I'm quite happy with that. We're going to expand on this because we've had to... Oh, yeah. Callum's, get, Callum's giving me a high five. What we're going to do now, check this out. We're going to go dark here, and then I'm going to go light down there, mixing it up. All right. Here we go. So, just showing you there. But it, it does give an indication. I'm not trying to pass this off as a, a technique in any way, shape, or form. But what I am showing you, if I can do something I'm proud of uh, that we didn't really plan this hour. These are great colours. Okay, so right now, just building that up, playing off the three tones, but what it really highlights is how much thought has got into each of the options where you've got three tonal colours, your dark, your medium, and your light. Right, so what I would do is... I'm thinking now... I just want to actually... Let me just pull that back because we need to do a bit more here because that's bugging me. And if you do have any suggestions or if you want to see any of the colours, please email in studio at hochander.com and I'd be happy to paint out some of the colours. This is not meant to be a technique-based show. Um, I need, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What about one shadow strip down there as well? But we're going to go with the mid. We're going to go with the mid on that. So let me just clean my brush. Coming through. Okay. All right, here we go. So we're going to use our mid now, and we're going to see the contrast with, and it dries very quickly. So let me just show you here, just going down, just one side, giving you a little bit. We're trying to go shabby chic, and I've got something for this. <laughs> 
We've had a message saying, yes, please keep painting or all we're doing is watching paint dry. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try. And then what I've got is a little bit of a sponge. So if you want to add some texture to it as well, I'm just going to sponge that in. And now remember, these are water resistant, so they will resist water. That's why they're outside paints. And then I'm going to, they're fade resistant, which is really important. Need to come back on with the light. But you can see the, how smooth they are when you're brushing on. What I would do, I would, I'm just trying to blend through as well. Here we go. So we're just blending. Mm. <laughs> uh, so what I'm trying to do, I've blended the two together just getting a slightly darker tone with uh, that base layer. I'm happy with that. What do we think? I think it's okay. So, it, I, I, frankly, I have done worse on the channel. We will have to have a look at other colors uh, coming through. Mm, I'm thinking base. When we come back to this, because we cannot spend the whole hour with me just painting up, what we'll do is we'll use some of the other colors and play around with it. So we've got some really bright berry maybe would look fantastic as well. While I'm doing this, remember that all the deals, all the prices that you're seeing right now, so that 15 pound saving is only here for this hour. This is a happy hour featuring Deco Art, a brand that we really love. I know you love it. It's proving a popular hour. Uh, but you can be getting extra credit as well, part of our Easter Extra event. If you'd like to learn more, take a look at this. Fancy making some extra Easter savings? Then join us for our fantastic Easter Spring Savers event here at Achanda. From Thursday the 18th of April at 6pm to Tuesday the 23rd of April at 6pm, we will be bringing you all your crafting favourites along with the opportunity to save as you spend. If you make any purchase during the day, you will be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more on the following day. If you redeem your credit, you will receive another credit of £6 for the following day to spend against a purchase of £30 or more. Every day you redeem your credit, the next day's credit will increase by £1, up to a whopping £10, which means you could save up to £45. So don't forget to tune in for your extra savings from Thursday the 18th of April at 6 p.m. Can I say, Heather, you made us all laugh because Heather emailed in saying she's got a garden shed that needs painting. Kel and myself, we're going to be around, Heather. We'll, yeah. we'll do it. We'll send you our rates. Uh, we have got more pet pictures. So this hour, and we only reserve, can I just say, we only reserve these uh, hours where we ask for pet pictures for very special occasions. So your opportunity to make your pet the star of the show. Take a look at this. Who? Oh, who's this? Raffi. So cute. Oh, I like Raffi. Hello. Someone needs a head rub. Real good. So cute. Okay, so there's Raffi. Oh, oh, who's this? We don't have a name here. Oh, this is Charlie. No, it's not Charlie. It's not Charlie. We don't have a name here. Oh, that face. Now, I've seen that face before. It's usually when you're eating and they rest their head on your lap and they look at you like, please, can I have some food? I'm starving. I've only eaten three times today. Who's it? Meg. Oh, Meg, the lab. Meg, you are super cute. Yes, that's our Meg. <gasps> Who's that? This is a brilliant name. Willow. I'm going to say, Willow is a chilled cat. That is a happy cat. She's like, yeah, what up? Just going to lie in your arms. We like Willow. That's a great shot. We don't have a name for it, but I love it. It's from Suzanne. Suzanne, you need to email back and tell us the name. He's going straight for that ball there. Uh, so there we go. Those were pet pictures. The reason we're asking for those is because we haven't got a guest this hour, and I didn't want to bore you by me just blagging on like, rah, 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 uh, and it gives us the opportunity to uh, have a little bit of a chat, have some fun, and get to see your pet pics, which we all love. The team love it. Coming back here, something else that you are loving, Happy Hour Deals, Deco Art, and we have got some fantastic options for you. So, you are getting sets of three here. Now, where these are special, this creates a vintage look. It's semi-transparent. It acts as a sealant, but allows you to appreciate whatever's underneath, that wood grain underneath, but allow you to get that vintage effect. But do you see how all the colors design to work together beautifully? So you've got your blues, and this is your blue, your lavender, and your light purple. 
Okay, that's light purple there. Okay, so three colors that work fantastically together. And then over here, we've got orange, tan, and your red orange. Very nice. And down here, we've got our pink, berry, and red. And then we've got our black, gold, and silver. We're going to use the vintage for our next fantastic demonstration. What we're going to do, we've got that, um, that big bobbin wheel. Tell you what, Callum, if you throw that to me, buddy. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Go for it. I'll catch it. Cheers, mate. So I'm going to be painting this. I'm going to put the vintage deco art paints onto that so we can appreciate all the wood grain here. But this is going to be an audience participation show. By that, I mean I would like you to get your requests in and whichever gets the most requests in so whether it is the blue option you've got your gold and silver down here with the black you've got your berry option or your oranges and your tans whichever option we go for gets the most votes that is the option that i will be using on this in the next few minutes so if you've got one that you really want to see now's the time to get your votes in studio at hochanda.com uh, moving across, we had a little bit of a play with our colour stains. Well, no, we haven't had a play with the colour stains. Sorry, we're using the outdoor. So, colour stains, exactly the same principle. What it does, it allows you to stain, but it's still semi-transparent. So, you're able to appreciate what's underneath. And you've got some gorgeous sets here. But, can we just take a moment to appreciate that price? £11 saving. You're getting three sizable pots, eight ounce pots of beautiful color stain. I mean, how much would you normally? Oh, and it gets even better. If you're a Freedom member, you get an exclusive discount just for Freedom members, and that is your delivered price. And it's one of the biggest perks. We heard Janice talking about this earlier lot early on. If you're a Freedom member, you don't pay any PMP. It's included. Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing at the moment some of the pictures that are coming up. They're so cute. Keep your pet pictures coming in. So we love seeing them. You put a smile on all the team's faces. Okay, so let's start here. Now, this is a lovely collection. So you have got your grey. This is your um, ash grey, your chocolate, and your light fern. That's one option. By the way, the, the dog that was jumping in the air, it was a Portuguese water dog. Her name is Secret. That is a great name for a dog. Okay. That's a name you'd be proud of. You know, you're going out there and secret, secret. Okay, maybe not. I don't, I don't know. Is it weird shouting out secret around there? Like, who's it? Secret. Uh, okay, coming in. I do like the name, Secret. I think it's very cute. A very cute job. Uh, over here, Phil Martin's got, I think he's got a water dog as well. He's got a very, or is it a Bernese? He's got a very big, big dog. Here we go. This is your Marine. You've got your um, turquoise and you've got your chambray. That's your next set. Over here we have our forest, we have our jade, and we have our Kelly green. Tonal greens, very nice. Moving on down, we have got our brick. There's our uh, garnet and your deep berry. Now that's, oh, this is nice. Your rose, fuchsia, and coral. And then finally, we've got the black, white, and your charcoal. So they are stains. Just say how a stain works is that it allows the, uh, the grain, wood grain underneath, what's ever underneath, to still show through. So it's semi transparent, but great quality. Deco art, need I say more? One thing, though, in the show that I've realized, please make sure, and it's an obvious one, but with any paint, give it a shake. You do need to give them a shake when you get them home. Okay, so details on your screen. Whichever option works for you, 572 394, your item number. Now, we're opening up the patio doors, we're walking outside, and we're thinking about all the projects we could be doing outside. Do you have something that's looking a little bit old, a little bit tired? Anything at home that resembles that? Well, all of a sudden, I can hear the gags now. Everyone's looking at their partner like, ha oh, ha, you. I can hear it now. I know what you're saying. Uh, but have a look here. So we have got options. Starting with our gold, this is our copper, sorry, the gold and the silver. We used this, had a little go, and it is lovely. Actually, I'm just, I'm coming back. I just wanted to show you, I used the copper earlier on, and that is what you're getting with the copper. I mean, that is good, right? But the beauty is, once you start playing around with this, you can use it outside. Ooh, like it. And it's great for any non-porous um, surface too. So 
You've got those. Actually, let me just check that it was non-porous. Uh, ideal for woods, concrete, masonry, uh, metals, most plastics, and more. So, yep, non-porous. Fantastic. Uh, let's come down here. So that was your first option. I have to say, I always gravitate. Gold, silver, copper, done. Love it. Uh, coming down here, you can see we have our uh, turquoise sky, the adrondike, adronodikes, dax, adronodax. And you've also got the poolside. Well, come on now. Look, you've got turquoise sky, poolside. Why did they have to go with the Atronadax? Hey, just to stumble the presenter. That's why. Uh, just call it. Just call it a green. Uh, okay. Coming over here, we've got patio, rock garden, and your uh, sand. Now, this is what we were using. Actually, I'm going to pick this up and have a look. Oh, happy. I'm actually quite happy with that. It's, it's a work in progress, but it just goes to show all the different colours. But do you see how you've got your light, your mid, and your dark? But just to be clear, with that was my light, but I did mix it with a bit with the medium, so it's a bit darker than with... I think that's okay. There is a little patch down there that's bugging me, but it's good. Cheers, buddy. We're going to use more on that. We're going to... We've got to get some bright colours. Uh, okay, coming down to here, let's have a little look what we've got. This is our uh, sunset. We've got a harvest and we've got a lemonade. And when life gives you lemonade deco art, what are you going to be making? Come over here, we've got our lily pad. Then there's the frosted gl uh, glass and also your... Um, what's the last one? Succulent. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a great name for a dog could i just say i've just heard this so the dog oh who was this this was a dog so we're going to show it this is a dog we had no name and it's called waggy tail and waggy tail has just had a really big operation but it's fine oh that's why waggy tail has just got home and looking we love Waggy Tail. Actually, I love all your pictures, so thank you so much for uh, getting those in. If you do want to send in your pet pictures, it's studiohochanda.com. I know it's got nothing to do with the show, but we love it. Uh, okay, now, let's take a look over here. So, uh, we have got down here our hammock, and this is your picket fence and your iron gate. This happens to be the most popular option. Mm, very, I, can, I get why, because you've got your black, you've got your white, and then you've got your cream. 20 pounds and 16 pence your price, saving 15 pounds. And what about this? Having a look. So this is for your outdoor living. You are getting your garden party, your ladybug, and your uh, floor silver. No, not floor silver. Wait a second, because it's got the different, it's wildflower. <laughs> it's got, on the top, it's got the name in different languages. That's your wildflower. On there. Uh, 109 090, your item number. If you need a bigger pot, if eight ounces isn't quite cutting it, we do have another option for you. This is 16 ounces. Have we had any emails in for which stain to use for our next demo? None. Well, we'll just have to pick one. That's, uh, that's fine. That's okay. So, having a look here, you've got three different pairs. So, you can see here, uh, these are your three different pairs coming up. By the way, if you wanted to put a few options into your basket, we have got an option called, uh, it's a flexi buy. We're going to explain more. We've got a great video that we have to show you. And we'll show you that in a bit. Uh, so, taking a look here, this is your fire, um, let me just see, where are we? This is your uh, iron gate and your picket fence. Nice choices there. Oh, look, you can't go wrong. Black, great white, done. Up here, we have got our sand and our fire pit. And down here, we have got our pergola and our patio. So great colorways, good size pot. So if you do have a big project that you're trying to tackle, this is the option for you. 617-778, your item number. You're saving 15 pounds. 26 pounds and 14 pence is your price here. I was talking to you about Flexi Order. If you'd like to learn a bit more, here's a video. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. 
after your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Well, there we go, a little bit about Flexi Order. So we're going to have a little play again. Uh, we've got our vintage options here. So just taking a look. Now, this happened to be a really popular option at the moment. So uh, we've got different options. They come in sets of three. Taking a look. So at the moment here, this is your lavender, your purple, and your blue. Okay, so that's three. I mean, look at the saving. £10 saving. Thirteen forty. your price here for your vintage effect wash paint set. Let's have a little bit of a look. So shall we start with, um, I'm going to go with the violet. There's something about this. So yeah, we're going to go with the violet. Let's have a little look. Putting this down because we've got pet royalty in the house. Phil has sent in a picture of his pooch. Wait for this. <gasps> Phil, it looks, it looks just like you. Look at that. Phil looks like a proud father. Remind me again of your, your dog's name. Ru that's it, I knew that. Rufus. Rufus is a handsome boy. Rufus knows he's a handsome boy. Look at that picture. Should be on the wall of a stately home. So that's Rufus. I love the fact. There, he's like... He's, Rufus is actually giving it the blue steel. I love it. Uh, okay. He's definitely his daddy's boy. Uh, let's have a look at these. Ooh. Oh, now. Look in there. This is good stuff. So we're going to be using this on our Bob and Will. Let's have a little look. This is our, oh, great. Now remember, this allows you to create a vintage effect, but it is still, oh, its coverage here is very good. <laughs> Jeannie, you know, we've just got your email. I've just started with these lots, so I'm, I'm sorry. We will try and show you the orange at some point. But just showing you now, coverage-wise, this is actually very good. Because I know it said it's a, a semi-translucent, but let me just carry on going. I'm just going to just dip this in, and we're going to go through. I will be blending, so we will have some of the other colours in here as well. So bear with me I'm going through. Keep the pet pictures coming in. Oh, have we got a few more? Actually, well, well, let's have a look. While I'm doing this, let's just have a look at the pet pictures, because I don't want to bore you all with my painting. Take a look. This is Leo. Oh, Leo. Leo, you're a very good-looking boy. There's our Leo. Hello. Uh, we got a little pretty cat. Let's have a look. Uh, Joe, excellent. Joe is waiting for his dinner. Got perfect table manners. No elbows on the tables or anything. I love that. Uh, now, wait for this next one. Oh, no, you didn't. And the name as well. This is Mr. Smiggles, who is one years old. Oh, Mr. Smiggles, you're too cute. If, if <laughs> Phil said Mr. Smiggles would sit on Rufus's paw. He's literally the size of Rufus's paw. Mr. Smiggles, I love it. Okay, so just showing you now. Can I just show, look at this. Now this is great coverage. Don't worry about the sides because I'm going to be blending out. This is your, uh, oh, With, it's, this show is getting too cute. So do you remember Waggy Tail, who's just had a really big operation? It was actually a life-saving operation, but she's fine. Waggy Tail heard her name and then wagged her tail. Waggy Tail, you're a good girl. Good girl. I think it's a girl. It might be a boy. I don't know. Uh, okay. It is a girl. Very cute. Now, let's have a look. So we go for our, I'm going to go for a slightly darker colour. So we're going to be blending. So this is the point with the sets, that you've got the three-tone blend. You've got your light, your medium, and your dark, which allows you to explore different techniques. So I've gone light in the middle, and now I'm going to go slightly darker here. Mm -mm -mm. We are getting a question in. Now, it's about formaldehyde in... Is that in the paints? Well, okay. Let's have a little look, because I will... I do have... I'm just trying to see if it's got anything on here. Mm. Okay, bear with me, because I'm just trying to see if it shares, if it gets any... I can't see any for, for, uh, formaldehyde in here. 
Uh, for additional product information, visit decoart.com. So, uh, what I would suggest, if you go to decoart.com, because it doesn't say it on uh, the back of the bottle, and we don't have the information. We have looked, so I'm sorry. But if it's really important, then what I would suggest, go to decoart.com, and you can get additional product information on everything we have on the show. I am sorry about that. Uh, okay, let's continue on and just show you here. Do you know what's going to be easier, actually? Let me put, I should, I should know not to block the shot. Okay, so we only got four minutes left. No way, this this hour's flown by. Uh, all right, let me just whap some of this on. Here we go. Now I'm not being too tidy here, but just going through. I have to say the coverage is exceptional. If you're going for the um, vintage for that price, I'd be using this for everything. For your MDF, it's an utter win. And at that price, you can't go wrong. I'm just going to get a little bit of a blend here as well. There we go. I'm trying to be a bit sort of shabby chic with it. Okay. Done. Let's just have a little bit of a look. Mm. You can see when we talk about being semi translucent, let me just show you. Um, <laughs> I'm a real perfectionist. Just take a look, because you can see a bit of the wood grain coming through. But, I mean, that coverage is beautiful. Now, obviously, I'll take a bit more time with that. But the wood grain, to look at it to the naked eye, you can see through as well. And that's the whole point with the vintage set. I'm a big fan. For that price, 1340 genuinely, I'd be going for those. You've got four different options. You're saving £10, but only for the next few minutes. Don't miss out. Thank you so much. I know this was a bit of a weird hour. Uh, I can only apologise, because it's not... Look, these weren't demos. They weren't meant to be demos, but we just wanted to show them. Originally, we talked about me just putting them onto uh, some paper, and then we found the kit, so we thought, why don't we show you that? Uh, we have got our Easter event running as well. Do take a look at the Easter event. Uh, it is proving to be very popular. A lot of people saving a lot of money, which is fantastic. So uh, do have a look. Where are you at? Have you got credit? How much could... whole point with the credit, it increases. So you could get your credit over the few days event up to... 10 pounds and in total saving about 45 pounds which is fantastic uh, do take a look at full t's and c's on our website it's been running for the last few days and it's proving extremely popular that's our easter extra spring saver i am massively backing these massively now we loved all the stains and the outdoor but i have to say for 1340 just see these as a beautiful vintage effect so you've got all four sets starting up here if we just have a look uh, and they're beautiful color tones so having a look at all these three now oh by the way we have got robin's dog our producer robin who we're going to show should we well let's just do it real quick should we just have a look this is sasha who's very very sweet oh sasha sasha's totally like hey rub my belly rub my belly uh and who else have we got that's it just sasha okay Thank you so much, Robin. Let me just go through these options for you. Value for money are exceptional. So we, you saw the uh, blue, the violet, and the purple. Great coverage. It and the fact that you have just got that little bit of translucent to it, allowing wood grain effects to come through. Uh, down, oh, we'll go over here. Sorry, Holly. Uh, you can see here now the colorways. Just having a look. I'll have a look. Uh, so you've got your, re your red orange, you've got your tan, and you've got your orange. And then over here, just down here, this is your silver, your gold, and your uh, black. And then over here, we've got our pink, our berry, and our red. This hour has flown by. Do you know what? It's funny, because I obviously would guess, like, really? Two minutes left? That's what I found. I was really enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'm so sorry it was just me prattling on. But the good news is that we have got Phil Martin to save the day. He's coming up next, and I absolutely love stuff and it's such a fantastic one day special before we do that just take a look at this our final photo oh that's ben we love it that's molly's dog bed so goat thank you so much for your company uh, i hope you can stick around because we've got another look at our one day special it was extremely popular phil martin is a crafting legend i haven't worked with him in ages he is i always enjoy it we always have a lot of fun but he's got some great things to show you it's our one day special please if you can stick around it's going to be a great hour 
So, coming up next, we have Sentimentally Yours, our one-day special. After that, from Rags to Stitches, that is just such a great name. Uh, and then, following there, we've got Sentimentally Yours, the one-day special. Lots to enjoy. Don't go anywhere. I will see you in a mo. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business, and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous, and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. The quirky and unique design of the Hobbytech tape dispenser will revolutionise the way you use tape. Quick and easy to use with a non-slip base, perfect for quick wrapping, gift wrapping and quick sticking, you'll be able to wrap, cut and stick with one hand. To add this to your order, go to hochanda.com. Good evening, everybody, and we have got a fantastic one-day special. Can I introduce you to someone I've got a lot of admiration for? It is the one and only Phil Martin. Hello, it's, it's been too ages. long, it has buddy. It's been, been it's been ages since we worked literally together. Literally ages. Yeah. I was thinking the same about Haley the other day oh. as well. It's ages since I've worked well, with Haley. Well, I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah. Look, what you are getting is something truly special because. As an, you really do just understand because you're a crafter. I am first and, and foremost. Absolutely. And what Phil allows you, I mean, the name says it all sentimentally yours. You place so much value on adding context yeah. to your projects. We yeah. are busy and at launch absolutely fr uh, flew. So tell us a little bit about this one day special. Okay, so what this is, this is the Industrial Blueprint Collection. Um, cool. Difficult to name it because we have got cogs in there. I didn't want people to think that this was a steampunk. It's no. Steampunk's been done and done and done. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've kind of taken it another level. We've mm -hmm. got blueprint elements. Yep. Hence, you've got the swirly lines, you've got the, the border lines, you've got the dot, uh, dotty lines and everything. Mm -hmm. So what it, what it means is you've now got a little bit more control. The second thing I wanted to do with this, because yeah. I make more girly cards than it's I do. I know they're gorgeous, aren't they? They really are. Can, can I tell you that that took me about three months to get that right? Wow. Just the, just the cog for a bit. 
Wow. Yeah. But then once I'd got, because that's what I did first, yeah. so once I'd got the cog for bet right mm -hmm. and I'd got the cogs that I wanted, yeah. that made it then easier to tell, do the sentiments. Tell me the truth. Was it three months? Well, I think, sorry, if you just go down, I think it was <laughs> two and a half months of design just on the photograph. <laughs> Where are we here? Now tell me the truth, Bill. Come on. Two and a half months there. And then that's just quite a, a few. nice photo, isn't it? <laughs> it's a great that, photo. That, that's before I was exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got another one. I went and had these done. I know we're digressing, but I went and had some done professionally. Yeah. And I've got one where he, he had me sitting on a on a white box yeah. with my legs crossed, looking like an, an elf. Um, but they've they've doctored it since then, and it looks yeah. like I'm sat on a pile of craft magazines and all sorts. Oh, it's that's really brilliant! They know. So they know. Keep night for next year. Anyway, that's, that's my fault for digressing. But <laughs> no, they are. I mean, that's actually a really important point. When Phil's saying the amount of development gone in yeah. here, three months. Yeah, just on the cog for bet that. That's wow. not including the rest of it. Yeah. So I I work so far in advance you wouldn't believe, but yeah. that's because I know that I'm not happy until it's 100% perfect. You are a perfectionist, I I am. and that's why I love your stuff. To, to the point where I drive myself mad. Even the frames that you're looking at there, yeah. you wouldn't believe oh. how many times I've moved cogs around it, just yeah. even dash lines, because <laughs> I drive myself mad. But this is why you know when you get these home, you know that I've done all that. You know when you get these home that you can start working yeah. with them straight away and you don't need to worry about the balance and what goes with what. I've done it all for you. There is such a heady mix of elements coming through here from your alphabets to your words and really usable words uh, to your frames. Can I say one thing important, and you know this is a given if you've got anything from Phil before, it's the attention to detail but the quality yeah. of the stamps as well. They are ridiculously thick. These are exceptional clear stamps beautiful designs and you can see it here though and great size too and that's yeah. important with an alphabet yeah absolutely so it's not too big that it will overpower an a6 card yeah and it's not too small that it would get lost on an eight by eight again i make cards for a living so i know i kind of know what Ooh. goes with what um so you've got all the detail there you've got the sentiments there that little i'm just going to mention it on Please every do. show yeah but that little tiny square alphabet uh -huh. that you see at the bottom was a late edition. Um, it was a late edition because I wanted to make my own sentiments. Oh. I didn't want to be restricted to the ones that I've yep. put together. And the only way you could do that with the, with the capitals, the... with the cogphabet, was having the simple alphabet to go with it. Uh, so you've got so got much everything. usability from this set of stamps, it's, it's unbelievable. You, you're going to be using this for years and years and years, but it's got such a classy aspect to it. All those lines. So whether you want to use it, and can I just say, it's a massive compliment to the stamp. That's a heat emboss. Yeah. And you haven't lost a scrap of detail. Or well, what about here now? We've gone a bit more uh, vintage. Yeah. Create your own art, embossed again. So, so I, you, you. I mean, people who know me know that when I get my prototype stamps, yeah, I test them Beautiful with different frames. ink pads. I te test them with different brands of embossing powder, uh, different sticky medium. So, perfect medium versus. But yeah, that clever. That Look at the is paint. Have you seen very. It? So used all the elements yeah, to yeah, develop yeah. a family. I'm not going to take credit for that. That's Joanne. Joanne did that, and it's incredible. I didn't very notice fun. it at first. And she sent me the card, so I'm like, oh, I don't know, do I like oh, that? No. But then when I saw that, it's really, really clever. And look at that happy birthday. So you've, you've just shown about five or six different yeah. cards. Not one of them looks the same as the one before. You Think actually about the my cards mind. that yeah. you make as well when, yeah. when you're making cards for yourself. Somebody might phone you and say, oh, it's, it's my dad's birthday. Can you make me a card? Covered. Somebody might say, it's Auntie Sue's birthday. Yeah. Covered. Everybody is covered with this set of stamps. Oh, now look that. at that. The colours are divine. Really, really nice, but it's a massive compliment to the stamps and what you're getting in here because that is your foundation, your core, and you're only going to thrive on that. Try and lift that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the heaviest, heaviest so, inspiration I've ever picked up. If you did, this is a card that I've made. If you yeah. didn't see the first show, this was one of the, the second or the third card that I made when I got my stamps. Um, and this is where the grey board came. Uh, You'll see the grey board in a second because I used metal embellishments for this. Yeah. I ordered metal embellishments so that I could bring them here to you at Hochander. Then when I made this card, I'm like, you know what? Nobody's going to post a card like that. It's, in it's just crazy. Yeah. Who wants a card that weighs three kilos? <laughs> or whatever it, it weighs. It is very heavy. So, so then I thought, well, I know, I know grey board. Yeah, I know. I mean, look at the I detail know, that you're getting. Card. On craft card, yeah. heat embossed. Yeah, in white. With but there is powders. so much going on. There's layer upon layer upon layer. But look at the paper. 
the paper has been stamped on. This this is not this is the ethereal blue paper pack, but I've stamped onto it. So you've with created oxide frames, yeah. And I've created all that in the background. Phil, these are stunning. It's clever, isn't it? Look, Thank these you. stamps are. No, you've Thank done you. such a good job. I've been excited about Thank this one-day special for a while, and I really mean that. I knew it was coming up, and I've been looking <laughs> forward to it. Uh, you got to access to flexi payments, and this is what I love about Hochanda. <laughs> Thirty-seven forty-seven today. You get everything. We know what a talented uh, artist and crafter that Phil is. Look at that face. Uh, so there he is. He's looking very proud of himself, and he should be. Uh, now, you're also saving £10 as well, so you're going to have a big smile of your face. Look at these words. Dream, inspire, wish, faith, create. Amazing. It's a lovely set. You're effectively getting this one free with that £10 saving. You have to see it in action, and we will be focusing on that this hour. Uh, but I am a massive fan of this, and I know how popular it is at home as well. We had a very busy launch. Don't miss out on the opportunity. You will love these. We've got Thank more you. for you. Ooh. I know, Ooh. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. So, there are papers and then there are Phil Martin's papers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, talk, <laughs> I'll talk take to, that. Thank talk you. to me about these. Right, so, what I wanted was, you know I don't do messy, you know I, yep. I can and I do. It's not my preferred thing, mm -hmm. yeah. So what I wanted with this collection of stamps is to give you a selection of papers that are watercolour effect backgrounds, mm. all different, none of them are the same, yep. um, that you can then stamp on, yeah. die cut your shapes with, die cut your flowers with, your embellishments, cover the grey board. So you've got effective, I know, just pull that one out, that is, I know, oh. I know. Look I know. at that. I know, yeah. I know, I know. So, so originally I did two. I did the um, Pink Aurora and I did the Ethereal Blue, which were the mm -hmm. first two sets. You can buy them individually. You can, but that's just silly. Yeah. And then I thought, you know what, I really like yellow and orange. Yellow and orange, if you know me, you know that I love yellow and orange things together. There mm. are cards everywhere. So I did the Summer Haze pad. And then I couldn't just stop at three because three is not a right number. No. So I thought, right, let's do another one. So we've got the Aqua Mist. Oh. So these are the first four. This is the first instalment that in is. the uh, Watercolour Dreams And for £35 and six pence if you're a Freedom member. Do you know what I'm noticing here, Phil? I don't know if you were conscious when you were doing these, but you've already got perspective and a landscape to build off of. Yeah. There's so many features and it changes depending on if you use it yeah, here absolutely. or if you're going to use it this way as well. The whole scene changes. They're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thirty-two and these are, designs. And these are a hundred. Yes. Yeah, so basically, you get eight designs in each paper pack. There are five sheets of each. Wow. It's A4 because I I hate when I use an eight by eight paper yeah. and there's not enough left to do my die cut flowers. Yeah. So you've got a a a four for that. It's 190 GSM, which mm -hmm. is effectively a lightweight card. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than a paper. Yeah. Uncoated, which means you can stamp on it and you can emboss on it. You you can do so much with this. It's They're exceptional, even if I say so myself. Thirty-five pounds and six pence, and that is your freedom price, your delivered price. If you're not a freedom member, you're still getting a great price. But as freedom members, exceptional. It's actually a why not deal. You're better off becoming a freedom member and getting this, enjoying freedom membership for a month, and then you can always opt out at any time. We currently stand at forty percent of the stock. That's in one hour. Uh, we've got some great inspirations to show you, and then we're going to get to demonstration. Just take a look at this. Useful inspirations and we're going to be using our one day special very very popular for the one day special at the moment and whenever you come in Phil what I love is you bring us collections yeah. so you've got all the elements but they all design to work yeah, together. absolutely and this is what I do and you if you if you know me you'll know that every month I bring you something that isn't like the month before so so the industrial blueprint is nothing like the yeah. montage corners and frames that I brought you last month that's important. however yeah. they will work oops, 
Didn't see that, did you? <laughs> one of them <laughs> <laughs> however <laughs> moving on you can see here that we've used the um oh wow time, yeah That's so nice. the corner is from last month uh -huh. yeah in no way relates to this yeah. but it works it with it does work yeah with that. so i always try and I, i'm conscious that these are not these are not cheap bundles that no. I, I don't bring you there's no point me bringing you three sets of stamps that you can use for one thing. I bring you a bundle so you get these home and you've got everything you need for it. And you yeah. know that I'm not gonna bring you another bundle like it. Yeah. So so you've got it, you've got it home, you can use it and use it and use it, and they're timeless as well. It's a really important point, because, and but also with fill sets, you've shown that you can intermingle, but they yeah. all have their own unique identity. Yes. So you're not gonna be getting doubles, there's no point getting a stamp that looks kind of similar to something you no. already have. No, okay. absolutely not. What's the, what's the point of me bringing you corners every month? You, yeah. you just won't do it right so let me show you where i'm at here because i'm conscious that i take forever when i demo mm -hmm. you know they can't quite believe it in my ear in fact i think molly these, is shocked are these from <laughs> these from the papers yeah this is lovely yeah. i didn't see Crinkle this one paper. Look at that. yeah oh. so again it's the watercolor effect look yeah but that's like crinkled paper so it's another oh. texture so i've already matted and led this is just an eight by eight card that i've chopped the front off and popped the two sheets of paper is sacrilege really because I'm going to cover most of that one mm. up in a minute. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the piece of cream card there that we're going to stamp the corner on. What I wanted to show you was the frames, yeah? Because mm. Joanne, I don't know where the card is, but Joanne who does uh, samples for me, she's very cleverly wiggled this about so it isn't a square and she's made some really weird weird shapes with it yeah. which actually looks really funky yeah. uh, I'm, I'm a bit plain jane so we're having, <laughs> we're having okay. a square we just talk about the thickness of your stamps as well uh, the best way to do it i know it's not easy to see because obviously they're clear but have a look at that yeah these are clear stamps wow yeah 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 so these, these are, are photo super polymer. Thick. they're not just polymer these are photo no, no. polymer these are the well they're the best quality you can get do, and um, that's really important because don't just think a clear stamp that they're all alike. They are really not. When you talk about photopolymer, it is like the gold standard yeah. when you're talking about clear stamps. And this is the thickest you can get. I think the four millimetre thick or something yeah. like that. Okay. Uh, so I'm just getting a sheet We'd of paper. We'd expect nothing less from you. Sorry? I, just, I expect nothing less from thank you. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Well, it's what I'm known for, so yeah. uh, I'm, I suppose I'm known for other things as well. But let's say perfectionist for this. <laughs> Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the new embossing powder. So before we move on, because I know these were really busy, so I'm, I'm going to give you a little heads up and tell you to, if you're thinking about these, um, you need to be getting them quick, yeah? So we've got two sets of three. These are brand new. You've not seen these before. Everything on the show, actually, is brand new. Mm -hmm. um, these are made in the UK. These are super, super fine embossing powders. Stay where you are. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to move the stamp in case I tip it all over. Right, you can oh. see how much I've used the copper. So let's just have a quick look at that. Ooh. You can see straight away the colour is, that is, is a lush. Yeah. Now, this is how you're able to get such fine detail, uh, keep all the detail on the stamps, Phil. Yeah, absolutely. So you know me, Jan. I mean, that is literally like rubbing talcum powder in my fingers. You can only feel the slightest grain. Uh -huh. So if I'm going to do something, yeah. I'm going to do it the best I can possibly do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not known for settling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just talk to the people who are trying to sell me a car at the minute. Oh. <laughs> um, and I want this for you at home. This is not just because I'm a diva or I'm, I'm a, a, a pain. I want people who buy my products to know that you've got them home and that I'm happy to use that myself. So you know it's perfect. Mm. So these are super super fine. So these are also anti-static. So which is a which is another step up yeah, yeah of course so anti-static powder there are anti-static properties within the powder and within the jar to maintain the anti-static properties you need to keep it back in its jar okay so where before you might have seen me decant it into a bigger tub yeah. you won't see me do that now hence okay. the sheet of paper because i want to maintain those anti-static properties mm -hmm. so we're going to stamp this i'm not going to use my anti-static bag I've got a dirty and a clean perfect medium, mm -hmm. so I should just write dirty and clean on them, shouldn't I? That's the one I've been doing grey board with. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's dirty. <laughs> Which we'll never do for my stamps, mm -hmm. and this is the one I stamped this with. So we're going to stamp this frame and we're going to emboss it in the clear, okay. so no anti-static bag. This is, um, it's, it's a relatively easy stamp to stamp. If you've got a stamping platform, just go for it, just make sure you've got it set to clear. Uh, if you're doing it with a blot like I am, 
just make sure you cover it really well with perfect medium because there is minute detail in this to the right down to the little dots that are in the cogs yeah mm -hmm. so let's get this so you you will not regret getting those embossing powders no oh we're so, at 30 percent by the way with the embossing powders uh, on the gold silver and copper when you see them in action and yeah. i actually watch launch and so the embossing powders are exceptional and the thing is with embossing powders if you ever used embossing powder and try to get detail fine detail and it's been lost because the embossing powder wasn't able to wasn't yeah. fine enough that's right yeah and this is but believe you me there is no finer anywhere in the world because no. <laughs> i'm like yeah yeah no no not having that not having that let's go finer we wouldn't we go. Say, phil would not sell you that <laughs> Most people you'll I see it now know. and i know these are big statements and because we're shopping channels yeah yeah i don't yeah. think we're just saying this as a sales technique genuinely these are exceptional it's true. most people that have met me know that i'm like that as well yeah. right i'm just going to give you a little tip as well if you've got a stamp that's this size and you're somebody who does struggle to stamp and you haven't got a platform, get a book. I haven't got one, but get a book. Put okay. a book on top. Oh, yeah. Good, good tip. It's, it's only because one of my ladies at my classes uh, struggles sometimes with yeah. big stamps. Give her a book. And give her a book, yeah. Well, she, you, no, she's got a platform now. You missed but... your, out on your calling. I think, oh, now look at this. I know. Wow. I know, I know. Let's just make sure. I don't know if you can. Not can you tip it on? Can medium. you pour it? If I hold it here, I'll tell you why. See, so catching the detail. Say, yeah, I just wanted you to look at this. It's like a magic trick. Watch this. I think the perfect medium started to dry just yeah, a bit. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, it has started to dry yeah, a bit, right. but hey ho. Sorry. That was right. me turning it, I'm sorry. It was me turning it around, but I could see it just coming to life. And it's really We nice. might need to do it again, but Okay. Hey ho. So well, you look, learn. Be be happy with it. If you're not happy, do it again without me talking. If it has ah, dried, you then decant that okay. back in for me then. All right. While I take rub this off. Yeah. <laughs> It's good job I don't yeah. talk a lot, Yanis. I'm, say, I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. Okay. <coughs> All right. We'll Thank you, you much, Lee. I'm not... Okay. We're just going to go for it now. No talking. <laughs> I want you to be happy. <laughs> I was talking to a um, friend in between the shows yeah. and said, you talk a lot, don't you? And I'm like, well, do I? Yeah. I'm, I must do. It's actually a good trait Even my TV. friends are saying it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well... They, they don't believe that I can get two demos in. Right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Got no faith in me. Okay, here we go. Right, here we go. So let's just do it quicker this time. Yeah. It is quite warm under these lights. Yeah. All right. Now you know why I said right. you need to be... Go for it. No you need to be around. heavy. Oops. You need to be heavy with All your right. perfect medium. There you go. That's more like it. Here you go. So just to just to explain to you as well the anti-static thing. Mm -hmm. So you saw that I didn't use an anti-static bag there. Mm -hmm. That said, if you've stuck your finger in a perfect medium, the anti-static yeah. properties will not they're help not you. magic. Yeah. <coughs> Do you want to show everyone? Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's just have a quick look at that. So uh, Phil, just talk us through. When we first did this, because we let, and you might do this at home, when you're doing this technique with the perfect medium, if it does dry, then obviously you need the perfect medium to be ready to take the embossing powder. If you let it dry, it's not going to stick. And because we were talking and it's hot, we've got very big lights in the studio, it just dried a bit quicker than maybe at home. Right, so I'm, I'm going to go, just to save time, I'm going to go from above. I don't ever, ever... You don't ever go from no, above? No, I did do it earlier, but I'm, I really want to get two demos in, because I need to show okay. the alphabet again. All right. So, did you see the fill I did earlier? Ooh, look. So, the alphabet allowing yeah. you to truly personalise, that is lovely. Oh, I like that. Oh, no. And, that and also, it allows you to really line up that the, the sort of design lets you get that placement. That's very so, nice. Which is what? Can you see where I've drawn a pencil mark? Yeah, yeah, I can. And we'll, we'll do that. It's, I've just asked all Yanis right on Facebook, by the way, two ends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a very nice. There we go. Okay. Okay. Sounds like me in the morning. There we go. So here's the frame. See, see detail. Molly, who's directing, can't believe that. But look at that gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Uh -huh. So because I've embossed from, uh, heated from above, can you see that the cogs have got some texture to them? Yeah. So remember this old story we have where 
it doesn't make any difference whether you do it from above or behind. Um, I'm still going to say that it does. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so heating from underneath mm -hmm. melts the powder slower, gives you a smoother finish. That's just logical. Yeah. That just makes sense. So because I've embossed that and it makes your card a little bit kinky, we don't want no kinky card. No. So that's going underneath my mat. That's going underneath there. Blending mats back on the show. Sold out last time, so I'm just giving you a heads up again. Oh, okay, back in stock because <coughs> they don't hang around for much longer. We're going to show you the details for your blending mat. Thirteen ninety eight, and this could be yours. So I know the pictures uh, don't come so clear on the pictures, but it's all good. You are getting uh, a set of blending mats, so you're larger and you're small. Okay. So shall we do? Um, we'll do, do like, a number. Do you want to like, like, yeah. We'll do. We'll do. Do your date or do you know, like nineteen something? I don't know. Oh, well, I wish I was, Yannis. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll do 50, which is the nearest one to what I am next. Okay. Which I know you find unbelievably difficult to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm 48 this year. 48? Yeah. Don't look, do you think I'll call right? Yeah, I do. You've been cryogenically freezing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have, but there's a story there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 looked into At the it. age of 28, he's been freezing <laughs> himself every night. Yeah, yeah. Okay, to, now, no to return talking in 2019. Right, so I'm not going to put... Um, obviously, with the mini alphabet, let me just get mine to show you. So with the mini alphabet, you've got all the tiny stamps, so I could quite easily make that 50th. Yeah. But I'm just going to do 50, because I want to do some of the cogs around the outside. Okay. That's a six, not an O. Do you want to just do that then before it dries? Then, oh, no? yeah, I better do answer. Yeah. <gasps> See, you've well spotted. Oh, my, well, you're looking after me, aren't you, tonight? Try See, this is why I told them to make sure I work with you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I haven't worked with you for like a year. It's not that long, is it? Yeah. Is it last really? time I worked with you, it was last summer. Wow. So it's a good job, it's a good job I noticed that. Mm. Because clearly when I've used this before, I've put the six in the zero and the zero on the six. Ah, well, That's why it's important you. to have the, um, yeah. the acetate print. There we go. Mm -hmm. It feels like a weekend. Well, it is weekend. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it feels like a... Right, so what I'm doing, what I'm doing, look, is I'm just using the line at the bottom. Yeah. I mean, it feels like a Saturday night, well, you know, because it's like... quite here, because all, all the management aren't here. Yeah. <laughs> It feels like a weekend. It's Sunday. <laughs> you know it, what it I mean. It quite literally is the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like oh, a Sunday. It's because every day is the same to uh, me. Right, so we'll em we'll emboss that. I mean, okay. just decant that back yeah, for us. So just going back to the decanting back into the pot and everything, it doesn't mean you have to do it straight away. Uh -huh. You can't be working with it on your paper and everything. Uh, now, producer Lottie has just emailed in saying, no way is Phil 48 this year. I am. If you oh, want, I don't believe Lottie, it. darling, I love you even more. Oh. Are we melting? Oh, look at that. Looks like metal. I know, it's good. But, and as far as colours go, is that it? Yeah. As far as colours go, now I know this sounds really, really silly because you'd think copper was copper and mm. silver was silver, but can you see that that's like a warm copper? Um, I know it sounds really diff makes uh, not a lot, a lot of sense, but when you compare it, I, yeah, and this is like, please don't put me way in again. <laughs> but when you yeah. when you use when you use this and compare it with others, yeah. you'll see you'll what see I mean. You'll see a difference. I say I mean. it is a stunning copper, but your design work it really does showcase <laughs> yeah. these embossing powder. Now, Phil has made sure, the, I know you took a, there was a lot of development getting these right, so these are uh, exceptional embossing powders. When you use them, you're going to realise how good they are. We have got another set for you as well. We'll bring, bring the details, you your the black, clear. white and your clear. You need I would personally get all of them. Approaching 60% for 1347, you cannot go wrong. You can't do it. And, and it doesn't, I don't know if it tells you what, oh it does, you've added it on for me, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's twenty. It's twenty mils in each in each yeah. pot. Okay. So the ones that you're familiar with. Yeah. It's the same volume. Great. There we go. That mm -hmm. was diplomatic. One. Yeah, this is my second roll. Oh, that's my third actually. There's wow. one there. Look. Oh yeah. Empty one. I know. You know, I like the foam tape. Right. So because this is going on there, I only need to put it on half. Mm -hmm. 
there is an original card that I'm going to compare this to when I've finished. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you how they look. Do you want me to peel these off? Oh, go on then. I'm trying to show you how they look in the different colours. So the first demo I did earlier was a, a version of a card we did in the Summer Haze papers. Um, I was talking to Catherine earlier. I know. Talking to Catherine earlier about the papers and, mm. and how patient the printers have been. Um, and in the end, we ended up doing it as, as a lifo print, which I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means, but it, sound, it sounds, sounds good. Better. Because digital, digital wasn't good enough, yeah. so this probably makes it easy for us to understand. Nice. Uh, digital and traditional wasn't good enough, so, yeah, so we had to do this litho thing, mm. yeah. So that's where we're at, we are at the minute. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do, do you mind do if I just some... show this where yeah, we, we're we're at? Wow. We're just going to do... Wow. <laughs> we're just going to yeah, do exactly. some cogs around the... Uh... Yeah, that's stunning. I could send that to myself. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you I'll should. I'll sell it to you, Molly. Yeah. <coughs> Phil, right. Phil doesn't, doesn't give away his cards easily. <laughs> there is a story there as well, yeah. yeah. I'm full of stories, aren't I? But you know the girls who come to my classes? Yeah. It's a standing joke now, They just get to look at the cards? No, 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 no. You only get a card from me if your birthday ends in a zero. Oh. So all the girls... Well, apart from Tina, so if you're yeah. watching T, sorry. Uh, but if, you, if you're 40, 50, 30, yeah. whatever, you, I'll make you a special card. Oh, I didn't get my 40th card. Oh, you don't come to my classes. Oh, OK, that's true. <laughs> well, right, so we're just going to build up a little corner, and I'm going to do this quickly because I want to try and show you... Uh, I want to try and show you oh. some more. So can you see what I'm doing with yeah. the border block? Now, we have got the uh, acrylic blocks back in stock. Uh, they're at the bottom of your screen. They were very, very popular. You're getting a set of three. The DL, the border, and the rectangle for £12.49. Your item number is 334339. And more importantly, they are the slimline ones mm. that have the little grooves at the edge. So easy to grip. So nice. I'm just going to create a little corner. I'm not going to be too pedantic. Don't watch, don't watch this. <laughs> I just said don't watch this and they said get really close. And that's just awful. It's mean. So I'm just putting a little bit of corner in. Yeah. yeah. So I'm using the oops, using the individual elements. We'll do this bit first. Thanks, Shani. Okay. Do you like the parts? Yeah, I love them. They're good, aren't they? Mm. You'll notice them. You'll notice them when you're in your craft room, won't you? I, totally. We get a lot of products on the show, and you hear us talking about. And I understand we all have a limited budget, but embossing powders—it's it's a consumable. It's something we use a lot. I've seen these, and I know how good they are. We're extremely busy for them. You know, and I always say this, I'll never say something to you unless I mean it. And the reason I do that is because if you got something home that didn't live up to the billing, you'd never trust me again. I give you my word, and I only reserve this when I really, really believe it. When you get these home, they are exceptional embossing powders. And for that price as well, you cannot go wrong. You're seeing it right now, the fine detail you're able to get. These are seriously good embossing powders. And, and more importantly, with the anti-static properties, yeah. apart from where I've just shoved my finger in there. It's OK. Pretend you can't see that. I told you it's not magic. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yes. Ianis. Right, here we go. Okay. <gasps> Halfway through the show. Right, I'll do this quick then. Okay. So you can see how <laughs> you can see how easy it is to build up a, a complete yeah. frame with these. I'll go from above just okay. to be quicker. Oh, it's like magic. And it's a lovely shade of it copper. It is a really lovely shade. Please, please, please. Don't mm. mix these powders with any others you might have. Yeah, because uh, A, you'll lose that anti-static element. And the colour as yeah. well. Yeah. So different different brands, different shades. Yeah. It's only, these were a last minute add-on. I didn't think, well, Mr. Bit, I didn't think these were going to be ready in time. So literally, literally, they got them on Thursday. Mm. They got them on Thursday, mm. yeah. So that's how new they are. See, now you're starting to build up your own design. You've taken just a plain back, uh, blank piece of paper and made it truly bespoke. Right, come on, then. OK. Come on, man. I'm trying to get this card done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
So uh, hopefully you can see at home when you've got these. See, it, it sounds really corny because I, these are my own products, but whenever I've bought things, and, and don't forget I am a crafter, I do buy other things as well, mm. but I want something that's going to give me a complete package. I don't yeah. want something, so you can see what yeah. we've done there? Uh-huh. Yeah. I want something that's going to give me a complete package that I can get home and start working with straight that's away. I don't want to be messing yeah. about with other things. So the flowers I've already done. Mm -hmm. uh, using glad. the papers, remember we've got those yeah. exquisite papers and if you're a freedom member the price is ridiculous. And I've also, I'm going to one there and three up there. And you've got the warm cocoa pearls. Now I'm just quickly going to show you these because I did bring you pearls last month. Mm -hmm. These are six new colours, yeah. And I want you to see these because this was a mare to get hold of. Nah. So this is the warm cocoa. Oh, yeah. So Two remember, sizes? you've got you've got three. I'll try and turn some over <laughs> rather than showing you the flat part. So I love this the colour. Colours you're getting in here: gunmetal, warm cocoa, and your nautical blue. Absolutely gorgeous. So you know when you don't want to put gems on a man's card. Yeah. Pearls kind of look a little bit like brads. So they don't they don't look feminine or anything really. Not when you put them on a masculine card. So just to put this into perspective for you, there are 550 pearls in each jar. 550. There are 550 yeah. pearls, approximately. Give mm -hmm. or take. It's probably in your so favour. 1,600. Uh, 1,500. No, 650. 1,650 pearls. Yeah. yeah. So what you've got in there is. Could be able to do that quicker. <laughs> What you've got in there are three different sizes. Uh, you've got three mil, eight, five mil, and eight mil. Yep. So as a crafter, and you'll know this, when you're doing big flowers, you want a big pearl. Yeah. When you're doing smaller flowers, you want a smaller pearl. And nobody ever does matching ones in the three different sizes, uh, which is what we've got. Mm. So you can see here, oh, you can pop the lid on that for me, please, Janet. Okay. You can see there, I've already got some of my grey board with glitter on. That's yeah. the rose chestnut. Very nice. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to do a couple of cogs. You see what I've done? I, I know. Ooh. Aren't they fab? Ooh. Love it. So that is the roasted chestnut um, glitter, yeah. uh, glitter alchemy. So you can see what I've done here is I've been doing my samples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ones that I've not used, I've just popped back into the... Oh, that's a good the, idea. Yeah, so they don't get lost. Mm. Do it in a bit. Uh, so I've got some white ones, I've got some black ones, but mm -hmm. now we're going to do a copper one. Okay. Oops. And I want to show you how. I've uh, got details of the, the grey board on your screen. The designs reflecting uh, the designs that you'll find in the one day special. You're getting two sheets of each really, really good quality grey board. 8x8, eight eight, 15 99 your price, 482 204 your item number. I probably only get this in another name done, but hey ho. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we'll do a couple of cogs. There are 36 on each sheet. One, two, three, four. Yeah. There are 36 cogs on each sheet. So and even the centre pops out there. Two. And then obviously you can use your middle bits. You've got it. So if you mm. if you start you looking at the bits that are in the middle of the circles, you'll see that I've actually used them. So you've got more. Just bear in mind that when you when these are laser cut, the precision cut, so there's always going to be some bits that have fallen out. Yeah, okay. it's, it's just inevitable. And Catherine was saying earlier, when when they do them on the on the machine, they fall into the grid, and you've got mm. no chance of getting them. So we're going to do a couple of copper. I don't want that now. A couple of copper embellishments. So now we're going to the dirty perfect medium. Yeah, dirty perfect medium. So this is this is as dirty as I get. I'm literally pushing them in there, okay. coating them with the perfect medium. I'm going to show you tomorrow as well how to do this with distress oxides. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Who's mine? Mine or Yannis's? It's me. It's me. <laughs> Talking about hairy hands. Copper. Copper. Right, so. Copper embossing powder. Mm. Just put that. It's nice to work with someone as hairy as me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not Greek. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just cover that with the powder. Okay. 20 minutes is an age. It's important for me to educate you while I'm here. We all can make cars. It's the techniques and the and the products that you need to be seen. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So I'll let you pop that back for yep. me. Remember, if you've got your blending mat, move it before you do any heat embossing on it because it will melt, as I've found out a few times. Okay. And then we're just going to go from above. So this is where this 
embossing powder really does come into its own. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. So I'm just going to hold that in place. So one coat. Oh, look at that. I know. So one coat. coat. It's probably a bit warm, don't touch it just yet. One coat. These are my mucky tweezers as well. Mm. I have the clean pair of tweezers and a dirty pair of tweezers. Mm. Right. One coat. We are going to do two coats, but I just wanted to see. Ooh, I wanted to show this. you this. So this now, do you understand why I chose grey board for all yeah. the embellishments to go with these stamps, as opposed to all the metal ones? I can make my own uh. with, with no weight. There's literally no weight. So can you see that that looks um, textured? Yeah, yeah. That's because it's one coat. I'm going to do two coats on this one, just so okay. you can see the difference. Because if you're like me, and if you're doing a if you're doing a pretty card, you'll want it to look nice and mm. smooth rather than textured. <laughs> who said who said that? <laughs> All right, so second mm. coat. If you're if you've never done this before, if you're doing this at home and um, and you're doing a few in a row. Whilst the first coat is still wet, you can just dip it straight back into the embossing powder yeah. while it's still molten. Yep. Here we go. So coat number two. Oh, is that not just amazing? It's really, really smooth. So can you... I don't know... Oh! Might not have been if after that. So can you see... The difference? Yeah. No, you can see, because it's got only pitted, the first one. Yeah, And that's then it. the one you're holding with the tweezers, it's got that smooth yeah. finish to it. And that's the quality of these powders. Yeah. That's just oh. amazing. That's giving you two techniques from one embossing powder. It's just so, so clever. Wow. Do you know, we're 40% uh, <coughs> with the gold, silver and copper as an investment. If you do like to use uh, well, embossed techniques with your stamps, you cannot go wrong. And I know I'm kind of backing that and endorsing them very heavily, but I've seen how good these are. I know how much effort Phil has taken to bring these to you. You really cannot go wrong. So, seeing the pots here, brought to you by Phil Martin. If you ever see Sentimentally Yours, if Phil puts his brand onto something, you know it's exceptional. It's got anti-static properties. Uh, do keep it in the pot, though, to keep those. Yeah. Can I just get the lid for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Cheers, buddy. So you could just come and work for me and just tidy after me. Well, do you know, I, I've sent my resume twice. I <laughs> I'll tell them to unblock it. No, okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> that was my chance. <laughs> just pop these on. So you see now how mm. the papers all tie in. Um, yeah. the, the die cut embellishments also tie in with the papers. Mm -hmm. I will just say as well, because we've not actually looked at the covers for the papers to show you what the designs are. Mm -hmm. um, we can do that. All, mm -hmm. all eight will work with each other. Mm -hmm. So had I have chosen any of the others from the ethereal blue, just at random, yeah. it would complement that, it would go with it. Yeah. So let's just pop some glue on here and let's get our embellishments on. So I'm not going to go really heavy with the embellishments because... So we've got the packs. They're actually doing it for me. I'm going to show you. Yeah, so that gives you a snapshot. The packaging gives yeah. you a snapshot. Have a look. And it's still in, in the wrappers there, but you can appreciate this. So you are getting all four packs. Yeah. Do you know, 32 designs. You've got five... Um, look at this. The and each pack is that, I mean, you're getting a can lot you see in each the pack. on the screen? Yeah, you can yeah, now, you yeah. Can. Don't you worry. I don't know how you're going to choose colours. Um, it, it just makes, this is why we're giving them, I love the Aquamas. This is why we're giving you, the, uh, giving you them as a bundle as well, as an option as a bundle. Because you can't. So, they're ten ninety nine each, but as a Freedom member, you're saving £8.90. Wow. Great wish. We're going to just show you a picture there. Really, really good value. So, Phil, I just want to double check this. For yeah. that thirty pounds, we're getting all of those. Yeah. You're getting all of these. Yeah. What's thirty pounds? Thirty-five. Right. Don't oh, scare me. I just want to show you. No, no. no. <laughs> 
Look at all of those, that, and they yeah. are premium, premium papers. Ryan, you remember as well that these are the first papers I've done for a few years, so um, I've really worked that is to, get them, great, to get them right. That is a great price. Thank you. Great price. But it's quality as well. It's really, just really good quality paper. Just 22 pence per sheet, and it's just not... This is no ordinary papers. The amount of effort that's gone into designs. You were telling us that the printers. What did they end up having to do? Litho printed. So, so well, when don't the even first. Know what that means. It's so I like to tell you these stories because yeah. then you know I'm I'm telling you the truth yeah, yeah. when I tell you. So when when they sent me the first proofs on an yeah. email, I'm like, well, that don't look anything like where I've designed. No. Yeah, <laughs> go, go back and come back when you're better. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't say that really. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said to him, no, that's that's not right. Then they tried again. Then they sent me a, a hard copy that had been digitally printed that also didn't match what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So eventually they said that the only way they could they could produce this for me was to do it to do it with litho printing, which is traditionally more expensive. Yeah. So it's not it's not a one step process, yeah. Which is why you can see that you've got lots of depth of colour in the papers there. Well, you can see it. Yeah. Now. Look at that. Because it isn't a one step it, process. It's so photorealistic, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm demanding. I like it, and that's why I like your stuff, because whether it's the stamps, the papers, the embossing powders, the uh, pearls, the glitters, if you see sentimentally yours, Phil Martin's name on it, you know how pedantic he is about giving you absolute best, in the best sense of the word. Yeah, I know, I, I mean, know. that's who I want to buy from. a nice yeah. way of saying I'm stubborn. Well, yeah. Uh, let's jump onto the website, <laughs> in the best sense of the word. Uh, look at all the goodies. Sentimentally yours, you've got your glitters in there as well, the alchemy glitters, which are amazing. Uh, so, various options. And you might be wanting to use, can I just say, if you've got your credit. Now, what about your Easter credit? So, if you do have some credit to use today, you can get hold of the fantastic one day special from Phil Martin and then you're going to get credit to use tomorrow as well. So this is all the details for your uh, T's and C's can be found on the website but effectively you're getting five pounds in credit. Once you use your credit the next day you get credit but we add a pound to it. So if you had five pounds the previous day you have six the next day, seven the next day, ends on Tuesday but you could if you've been running the whole event and getting all your credit you could save up to 45 pounds. Say full T's and C's on our website. Take a look at this. The very best. This is Phil Martin at his absolute best. Three months worth of development to show you some fantastic stamps. It's a full collection here. You're getting everything you need. The most detailed, layered, exquisite alphabet fonts. And I say that the actual packaging is a little bit deceptive. If I can just turn this around, because when I turn it around, you'll see. You'll see the packaging here, but then that's the actual alphabet they're a lot bigger and look how detailed they are so not only have you got your alphabets but you've got in here your frames you've got your uh, positive words in there as well birthday wishes you can play around with these so make a wish your happy birthdays uh, you've got your alphabet you've got more positive words coming through there's so much going on a hundred and 78 stamps as we showed you these are sizable stamps enjoy life big words uh, coming in here and then we've got numbers you've got geometric shapes coming through uh, too uh, and finally you have your frames and then you even have a little small set and the small set uh, allows you to personalize further you can write your own sentiments you can add your uh, ordinals the ths to like a 50th if you want as well just going to give you an idea of how good these are, depending on, aha, oh, look at this, on a box. Do you see, you've just turned a lovely box, but when we open it, whoa, oh, game changer. Absolutely stunning, and there's so much going on, and speaking of boxes, which one? Underneath, eh? Yeah, okay. So then you, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, so then you're seeing a girly version. Of All right, this is the, okay, right? here we go. And let's open it up. <laughs> and we'll be Not able to way. see, <laughs> bear with me. Oh, best wishes dad. Now that is a fantastic card for a dad. Love it. Uh, all right, really, really nice. So you've got a lot going on here. I just want to show you this. How about that? Isn't it beautiful? Ah, oh, with love. Have fun. Beautiful. All right, we've got to get back to Phil because I know he's really keen to get a couple more demonstrations in for you. Uh, we've got the embossing powders. They are so good. Uh, you've got set one, which is flying your gold uh, in there, your silver and your pure copper.
uh, 20 mil, they're anti-static, they are super, super, super fine. 1347 your price, 231, 274 your item number. We've also got set two for you. This is your black, white, and your transparency are clear. Uh, 1347 again, 752, 631 your item number. We're approaching two thirds of the stock though with the embossing powders. They really are that good, and I know we've been raving about them, but I want you to enjoy them, and especially if you have detailed stamps, and if you've ever struggled to emboss, because when you've used traditionally an embossing powder, has been too thick and you've lost all the detail, you will not have that problem here with uh, Phil's uh, embossing powders. Okay. Right, so I'm just popping these back on where they belong. Mm -hmm. That's why I like the um, I like the printed acetate. So what we're going to do is, because there's no way on earth I'm going to make a card in six minutes, yeah. so we're going to do Robin, R-O-B-Y-N. Yeah. Very nice. So we're going to do Robin. So I did Phil mm -hmm. earlier. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were on the overhead. <laughs> so we did fail. Uh -huh. We're now going to do Robin, but mm. we're going to use a combination of the uppercase and the lowercase, the nice. letters and numbers, and we're going to do it in girly colours. So in case you didn't see the 6pm show, because if you were in the garden, I don't blame you, but back in the room now, please. Mm. Um, when I did the original brother card, so that rectangle card there, Yanis, yeah. So this was the first card I made when I first got the stamps, yeah? and I did brother, but I actually cut my piece of card to size, so the piece of card that's got the stamping on, yeah, mm. and it didn't fit. Kay. So I learned the hard way to actually do it on a full, she a full sheet, yeah, and then trim down. Mm. You'd think I'd know, wouldn't you, after 402 years of crafting? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do, we're going to do a pencil line, yeah, yeah with our posh rule along. Yeah. Uh, these are back in stock, by the way, and they're proving very, very popular. So uh, they went earlier on. I'm just going to show you now. It's obviously not a ruler. Yeah, no, it's not a ruler. It's for, it's for, it's <laughs> just, for your I'm stamps. just clarifying. 30% of the stock's gone here, so 12.49 your price, 334, 339 your item number. You're getting your DL, your border, and your rectangular essential acrylic box. Always popular. Um, now, when we say they're back in stock, did they sell out in your uh, launch out? No, 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 no. The last time I was here. Ah, okay. Last time so I was apologies. here. Same yeah. as the blending mask. But we haven't as well. had them for a while, so you don't have to worry about no, extended weeks. delivery. Yeah. Yep, six weeks. Okay. Right, so we've got the capital R, mm -hmm. and we're going to do two tone, and we are going to clear emboss this along the way. Mm -hmm. So if you were making, if I was making a card with this, this is exactly what, what I would be, be doing. doing. Okay. It's just, <laughs> Robbie. Robbie, the producer, has just said, could no. you make it into a bookmark? I need one. I could have... Yeah. I, well, I, I could have done. Could have done. Look, you just do your demo. You don't I'm worry doing about the demo. I could have done. I've, yeah. Abusing <laughs> their positions. 20 quid, Robin. Put... See me after. Putting in their orders. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, so we're using Victorian Velvet and we're using Bundled Sage, yeah? Uh -huh. So we're using two shades of... Um, uh -huh. Two shades of Distressed Oxide. Yeah, yeah so you okay. can see there. And with the line at the bottom of the stamps, did I mention this earlier? Go so on. the line at the bottom of the stamps, mm -hmm. if you could just show everybody, and it's on, yeah. you know, on one of them. Okay. So you don't need to worry about lining any part of this stamp up apart from the bottom line, which is why I drew uh, a pencil line for me to follow. Uh, yeah, perfect. So, so yeah. bottom line, line up, Done. line up, line up. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you miss a bit, because these stamps are so mm -hmm. forgiving. And then we're going to have the O, Curios T, get O, yeah, mm -hmm. from the letters and numbers set. I'll try and do three letters and <coughs> then, <coughs> then we'll emboss. Yep. So Victorian Belder, bit of bonded sage. So this is why we needed the lowercase alphabet. So again, I'm using the bottom line look mm. of the alphabet. I'm not That's worried really about any of the other lines point. on it. Yeah. Because then, you, I mean, super precise. Yeah, I'm but they've also got that lovely sketched feel to them as well. It's because of the lines, the blueprint yeah. style. It's like that Victorian vibe. That's as straight as a dog's hind legs, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. but it's okay. It'll work. <laughs> It'll work. I'm just turning the block. Well, like I so say, straighten the line. I'm doing. I'm doing a straight stamping and and on a crooked block. Yeah. I mean, I love these two colours together anyway. Mm. So now oh, we'll clear nice. emboss these, just yeah. in case it starts to dry under the lights. Oh, <laughs> Rob. Do I know anybody called Rob? Yeah, that does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm not going to heat it. I'm going to carry on stamping. 
Values to U, V, W, X, Y. It's not so easy reading the alphabet back to front. No. And the B looks like a D, but they are different. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just checking where I'm going with that. So, so remember, this is this is how I would expect to make a card. Um, I would start with the topper and then finish with the finish with the decoration and everything after. So if I if I get chance, no, I'm not going to do it in this hour, but I might do it tomorrow. I have to say, as alphabets go, extremely original, but they are absolutely stunning. Great size too, so yeah, good no. for because you've got that larger size. They're dramatic. I'm thinking home decor, scrapbooking, journaling, card making, everything. But can you see, mm. doesn't matter where any of the other stuff is that's on yeah. the letter, as long as the bottom lines uh, up. It's straight as the a whole, line. Yeah, the whole, yeah. Thing, the whole thing is lined up. You don't need to worry about it. I mean, if you've got a stamping platform, it's even easier. Mm. But I, I tend to do mine with my blocks because I find mm. it quicker. I only really get the stamping platform out. Oh, if, sorry. If, is that clear? Yeah. Just making sure, because the clear and white both look white. There we go. And yeah. I will do this from behind. It's going to have to be upside oh, down, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> so we'll start with the R. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Are we melting yet? Yeah, there we go. Starting to kick in. Is that just not class in a glass? That's nice. I absolutely love this. If anybody's bought these stamps, and you know my birthday's in August, mm -hmm. I would love a card made with these. Oops, burnt the card, really. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too close. It's eight o'clock at night. Look at that. Pretend you can't see the scorch mark. I can't see a scotch one. Oh, look how smooth that is. I, that's just absolutely beautiful. So the colours obviously pop a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the clear embossing powder, because you can use the clear embossing powder on top of... Are you, are you scrutinising my do you, know I, no, do you know what I'm looking at now? <laughs> it's the detail. So, I you know. know, even in the cogs, if you have a look at the R, the little cogs in the R, all that detail, you're not losing it. And that is a compliment. A to the stamp, obviously, to be so detailed, but then these embossing Even powders... The lie, so, so the cog at the yeah. bottom, Jan, is at the bottom yeah. of the eye. You can actually clearly see... It's defined. The, ...the two inner lines, yeah. That is, it. that is so impressive. And that's why we're raving about the embossing powders, because they are super, super, super fine. So Stamps, embossing powders, yeah. glitters. Can't I've not go wrong. them yet. Go, because have a quick look at the glitters. Have I got time? Yeah, you've got enough time. Very quickly, so, come on. So pretend... Two and, two and, half, and a half minutes. Right, so pretend that. we've actually made this into a top book. Yeah. We want a glitter to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. Got, Got two, two sets of glitters for Two me. choices on the yeah. show that will match Victorian velvet and bundled sage. Ooh, oh, that was lovely. Oh. <laughs> Somebody would have been sweeping up to... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh so it's okay. It. It's all right. We're okay. It's good to buy down do sweeping. <laughs> Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're not having that for the blue first. Right. Quickly. 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 Yeah. Right, so we've got two sets. We've got the Victorian Rose and we've got the Perido Paradise. Yeah. yeah. Both are beautiful and both will work with Victorian yeah. Velvet and Bundle Sage. However, yeah. I just if show I see you that here, on the blue first. Take a look <coughs> at how good these glitters are. So how would you describe these glitters? So these, these are uh, discs. They're, they're minute discs. So last month I brought you ultra fine glitters. This month I'm bringing you the slightly chunkier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but more. this is glitter alchemy. This is okay. not just glitter. Use them as standalones or mix them. Okay. So this okay. look. That uh, you are getting eight empty pots to mix your own as well. That is Victoria is Victorian rose and peridot together. Mm. For yeah. thirteen forty nine, exceptional value. And I'll show you how easy that is to do. So this is obviously a colour I'm going to use a lot. One minute. So, bit, of, bit in there. I know they're mm -hmm. terrified now in case I spill them all everywhere. Yeah, same amount. Just remember to clean your spoon each time. Same amount, mm -hmm. roughly, into your pot. I can't wait to see my Facebook page. 
<laughs> but shake it up. This is why I brought you the empty jars along with the diamond dazzle. The diamond dazzle is an absolute must have because what it does is it, yeah, it's clear, but it tones down the colour of all them. So yeah, the whole point is you're going to be mixing. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. There you go. They right. are stunning. Time is up. Okay, well, thank you so much, Phil. I've really enjoyed it. Phil's going to be live uh, tomorrow at 9, 1 and 5. Please make sure to tune in because he said, it, he said it himself. He loves to educate, give you those techniques, Spilled so then you can go on and make the most of your sets. It's been an absolute pleasure, thank buddy. You, thank really you. enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as well. This is a phenomenal one-day special. Everything you've seen is incredible. Enjoy.